Hey guys, BigSquareRoadToRoot.com. Uh, we had a little release of the silver manipulation for about 20 cents. <laughs> it is so insane, the undervaluation of the price of silver, <clears throat> that I am going to post, well, it's already posted on the Road to Ruta website, I am going to give you a silver manipulation quiz where you can, now I wrote this quiz 10 years ago, I updated it a little, so but the story is exactly the same. Silver is 100% manipulated every day in every trade. The CFTC had numerous, I'm not telling you the number because it's in the quiz, numerous investigations during while JP Morgan was rigging the silver market. They all came up empty. And I was screaming and yelling and proving to them over and over. Go to roadrooter.com, do a search for silver manipulation. Anyway, is silver ready to run? I don't know, but here is your quiz if you are willing to take it. You can find this at roadtoruta.com. In the search button right here on the top right, go search for uh, silver manipulation quiz and you will find it. There's about 20 questions. Here they are. All you silver bugs, get a pencil and paper out and write this down. And see, send me an email, bix at roadtoruta.com, and tell me how many you got right out of the uh, question. Number one. Which monetary metal is the most manipulated on a daily basis by the banking cabal? A, gold. B, silver. C, platinum. D, none of the above. Jeffrey Christian would answer none of the above. All right, write your answer down. I'll give you a hint. The answer is between A and C. <laughs> okay, I gave you that one. Number two. The definition of the U.S. dollar as first defined in the Coinage Act of 1792 is equal to one or A, one ounce of silver based on the average weight of a worn Spanish peso. B, 371 grains and four sixteenths part of a grain of pure standard silver. C, one twentieth of an ounce of 0.999 fine $20 St. Gaudens gold coin. Or D, 23.22 grains, 1.505 grams of gold. That's a better question. Don't use the internet and look these up. No cheating. Number three, why did Warren Buffett sell all his physical silver holdings in the first quarter of 2006? Ooh, that's a good question. A, he thought silver was overvalued and wanted to lock in profit. B, he did not think the future of silver was bright. C, he swapped it to buy gold. And D, he, he handed it over to the banking cabal when they blackmailed him. Number four, these are good, huh? What is the real silver to gold ratio in above ground supplies? A, 50 to 1, 50 times more silver than gold. B, 20 to 1, 20 times more silver than gold. C, 1 to 1, the same amount of silver as gold. Or D, 1 to 5, 5 times more gold than silver. Number 5, according to the USGS, at current demand rates, I would say consumption rates. How many years of silver supply are left in the ground? A, 17 years. B, 30 years. C, 50 years. Or D, 125 years. Number six. How long did the CFTC have an open investigation into the manipulation of COMEX silver market? A, six months. B, 24 months. C, 36 months. Or D, over 48 months. Number seven. The best way to fake gold bars is to fill them with tungsten. What metal would be the most likely choice to make fake silver bars with? A. Molybdenum, B. Lead, C. Tin, or D. Iron. Number eight, on December 31st, 2007. Interesting day. How many physical ounces of silver did the iShares ETF deposit into inventory only to remove it the following business day to cook the books at the end of the fiscal year. A, 5 tons, B, 20 tons, C, 200 tons, or D, more than 500 tons. Interesting. Criminal Enterprise, the silver ETF with J.P. Morgan as the custodian. Number nine. Why aren't there as many reports of fake silver coins as there are of gold coins? Fake gold coins. A, silver coins are harder to counterfeit. B, silver coins are easier to test for fraud. C, silver coins are too cheap. Or D, silver coins are too rare. Number 10, according to Ted Butler, who holds the gigantic oversized silver short position on the COMEX. A, J.P. Morgan. B, Goldman Sachs. C, China. D, the Rothschilds. This question is outdated. 
but answer it as you will. Everybody gets this right, by the way, because it used to be J.P. Morgan, but it isn't anymore. J.P. Morgan is getting out. So I would give I'm giving everybody a free pass on number 10. Number 11 in the last 15 years. How many investigations have been announced by the CFTC into silver market manipulation? A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4. Number 12, why will the industrial demand for silver continue to be strong even if the price of silver rises dramatically? A, demand for silver is relatively inelastic in its industrial applications. B, manufacturers have ample access to the credit markets to raise money. C, consumers will always buy products that use silver, like flat screen TVs. Or D, silver is virtually, is vital in military application. Number 13, in the early 1980s, how were the Hunt brothers forced to liquidate their silver holdings? A, the government told them to. B, the comics changed their rules. C, they were found guilty of market manipulation. Or D, they liquidated by choice to book a gain on the trade. Number 14, why does the FDA want to ban the use of colloidal silver as an antibiotic? A, it turns people blue. B, it isn't safe as pres- it isn't as safe as prescription antibiotics. C, it isn't proven to kill harmful bacteria while not affecting the human body, or E, they are afraid it would become too popular. Number 15, why would the US military have any interest at all in controlling the silver markets? A, silver is a vital metal used in military technology. B, control the price of scarce resources is a strategic objective of the U.S. government. C, a skyrocketing silver price will call into question the strength of the U.S. dollar. Or D, all of the above. 16. Why has the U.S. put roadblocks in front of silver mining companies from developing domestic mines? A, they are environmental regulations that must be met. B, there are no silver shortages in the world, so development is not a priority. C, the U.S. plan is to use all foreign silver deposits before developing their own. Or E, the U.S. does not have any large domestic silver deposits. Number 17, we're getting near the end. Here's a good one for you old school GATA guys. <clears throat> Two days after silver trader Andrew McGuire was, was announced as having email and voicemail proof that J.P. Morgan was conspiring to rig the silver markets, what happened to him? A, he was praised as a hero by the CFTC because they finally had solid proof of silver market manipulation. B, the news agencies all around the world spread the word that the silver market was rigged. C, the silver mining companies filed lawsuits against J.P. Morgan for silver market manipulation. Or D, him and his wife were victims of a likely attempted murder and ended up in the hospital. Number 18, according to Jeffrey Christian's CPM group, what is the justification for J.P. Morgan and HSPC to have gigantic short positions on the COMEX futures and options market? A, they are bona fide hedgers of physical metal. B, they are all hedged by paper long positions. C, they are facilitators of central banks. D, they are smarter than all other traders. Number 19, where did the banking cabal find the physical silver needed to continue the market rigging operations throughout the 1990s and 2000s, even though all market participants knew there was a massive uh, supply deficit. A, silver recycled from photographic processing. B, China was secretly supplying the world with hidden silver. C, silver reclaimed from part of the Manhattan Project. Or D, people recycling their silverware and silver tea sets. And number 20. And here's your good conspiracy one. What happened to all the physical silver that was stored in the COMEX vault under Building 7 of the World Trade Center on 9-11? A. It disintegrated into dust just like the building. B. It was removed seconds before the building imploded. C. It was recovered from the rubble during the cleanup. Or D. Nobody has come forward with a credible answer, so it remains a mystery to this day. There you go are your 20 questions. I gave you two of them, so you at least have two out of 20. Don't cheat and go on the internet. Um, See how well you do, and then go to roadtoruta.com and get the answers. The full answers are posted right under this this quiz. So go to roadtoruta.com and do a search for silver manipulation quiz, 
and you will find the answers. And don't forget to free, sign up for free updates on the Road to Ruta. Hey, look right at the bottom. There you go. Put your name and email, and you'll get free updates on the Road to Ruta, especially if they kick me off YouTube for talking about silver manipulation. So when you see something like this, it is par for the course. <laughs> Absolutely, silver was allowed to move up a little bit. Um, pretty soon the comics will be shut down, which will be a great day. And I, I will be talking about that tomorrow on the timeline post I am giving away to Road to Ruta Private Road members. Make sure you're on the private road for that one. This is BigSwearYourRoadToRuta.com. I'll talk to you later.